an instinct. The force brought us together. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Your destiny. I am taking one last look at my friends. Last jump, maybe forever! We finally have our first international trailer for Star Wars Episode 9: The Rise of Skywalker, which is very similar to the final trailer that we got for The Rise of Skywalker, simply recut. Before we get into the new footage and the breakdown though, I do want to remind you guys that on the Star Wars merch page, there's a massive sale for Black Friday through Cyber Monday, where everything on the store is 16 to 50% off. So if you're interested in something for Christmas for yourself or someone else, check it out in the link in the description down below. Now on with the breakdown. For the first 30 seconds or so in the international trailer, Trailer, there's no brand new footage, with the exception of one brand new space battle footage with Emperor Palpatine's fleet and the Rebel Alliance fleet, or the Resistance, whatever official title they decide to go with with the Rise of Skywalker. Following this, the other new shot is an additional shot on the planet of Pasana of the speeder bike chase with the Jet First Order troopers, a sequence that's been very heavily featured in all of the marketing for the Rise of Skywalker, with us recently even getting the first clip of the movie from this opening chase. At around the 42nd mark of the international trailer is where the footage gets really interesting. As we can see the First Order trooper transports open up and a ton of Sith troopers exit them. It appears that Finn and a bunch of other rebels will actually engage these Sith troopers on the Star Destroyers themselves, as we've glimpsed other footage of these Sith troopers in the other TV spots, but we get the most here, getting a good idea exactly how many there really are. Again, several days ago we received confirmation that the Sith troopers do in fact answer to Kylo Ren, but they appear to be more aligned with Darth Sidious Emperor Palpatine in the sequence. As we can see, his presence looms over this location with the constant lightning strikes. In the next few seconds of the footage, the only brand new shot that we get is one additional shot of Rey swinging her lightsaber on Kylo Ren on the second Death Star, as we've been little by little getting a ton of footage of this Death Star fight. And then finally, the big moment of the TV spot is Poe and the crew piloting the Millennium Falcon, running into some type of giant space creature, something that also occurred in Solo A Star Wars Story and several times over the course of Star Wars Rebels. As for this creature, I can't really identify it, but there are First Order TIE Fighters pursuing the Falcon. Also within the Falcon itself, we can see the brand new alien character, Claude, in the background. As Poe says, last jump, maybe forever. Exactly what is going on here, I'm not sure, but I do like the color and sort of the green mist. And I think it's a fun little shot to end the TV spot or international trailer on. But what are your guys' thoughts on this international trailer for the Rise of Skywalker? And what was your standout moment? Also, the more footage that we get, are you getting more or less excited for the Rise of Skywalker December 20th? Again guys, don't forget to check out the merch, the top link will be in the description down below. May the force be with you, and have a great day.